So before you dive deep into this whole spray painting thing, there are probably a few things you should learn about the spray can. Spray paint is some pretty fascinating stuff. It's this beautiful combination of mechanics, chemistry, and physics that can overall help you paint faster and cleaner. No messy paint water necessary. Learning how to control a spray can is the only challenging part. But once you figure that part out, your world will seem easy peasy. I'll talk more about how to use these cans properly in a later video, but today we're gonna learn about how these cans really work and why they're the most appropriate tool for a mural. So I have my degree in art, uh, but I didn't really get into spray paint until several years after graduation. I really wish I had figured this stuff out sooner. That's why I'm here to teach you what I've learned. Just the potential that spray paint has to adhere to practically any surface will wind up making your job so much easier. Okay, so spray paint, also known as aerosol paint, is a fabulous mixture of pigment, solvent, and resin that is stored in a pressurized container. So at the top, you have the cap. Um, otherwise known as the nozzle. Uh, it goes by several different names, but we're gonna call it the cap in this instance. So this is the cap. My next video will be all about caps, so be sure to click that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you get notified when I drop my next video. Here's a little diagram for you guys to show you what I'm talking about. Beneath the cap is the donut, the metal ring that surrounds the cap. The valve is the part that the cap or nozzle actually attaches to. Then the tube or the straw is the part that the paint actually goes through to get out of the can. Spray cans typically have one or two little metal balls or peas in them to help mix up the pigment, solvent, and resin to create a nice even spray. That's what gives a spray can the fun rattle sound. When the cap is pressed, the air pressure inside causes the liquefied gas to boil and become a vapor. The paint then shoots up the dip tube or straw on the inside. Once the paint is released from the cap, the solvent quickly evaporates at room temperature and the paint atomizes into a fine, even mist. According to HowStuffWorks.com, when the can sprays, all the tiny paint particles are evenly distributed because they're all positively charged, repelling each other as they leave the can. And because the object being painted is always oppositely charged, spray paint adheres to the surface and can be applied in even, smooth layers with almost zero waste. So this is why shaking your can is super important. In my last video, I taught you how to shake a can properly. In case you missed it, it's right here. If the paint and propellant are allowed to settle, they'll come out in uneven proportions, causing the paint to clump and possibly get stuck up in the straw. If that happens, there's a chance the can may never work again. And you're just stuck with this seven to $10 can that you bought and nothing to do with it. That'd be awful. I know, so spray paint is technically in a pressurized container, so what you really could do is you could like stab the side of the can and, you know, but I, I would not recommend that. Honestly, it's not very safe, so don't do that. But I've seen some people do it on some crazy TikTok videos and stuff. It's pretty interesting, but there's no control. It's extremely messy and extremely dangerous. So there are so many different kinds of spray paint that you can use, but I use this nitro acrylic spray paint. If you wanna learn more about the different kinds of spray paint that there are available, you can watch my last video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little something from it. If you have any questions, please put those in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you enjoyed this video at all, uh, please go ahead and click that like button. I'd really appreciate it. It will really help me out in the future. Anyway, so as always, remember to stay peaceful as a calm mind is a creative mind. Now go get inspired, be an influence, and make something beautiful today. Peace.